Want to Morning. call to order the Wednesday, January 19, 2022 Civil Service Commission meeting. Yeah. Start with roll call. Commissioner Edna. Here. Commissioner Beth Michelle. Here. Chair Poplowski. Here. And Commissioner Hardin is absent no, by priority. Oh, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm here. You're here. <laughs> Commissioner Hardin. All right. So the first item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes of December 15, 2021 commission meeting. All moved. All second. Okay, any discussion or comments? Okay, all in favor of approving the commission roll call. Commissioner Beth Michelle. I'm going to say I because I've always heard that you don't have, you don't have to abstain just because you're there. I'm saying I because I read them and so. Commissioner Hardin, yes. Yeah. Chair Poplowski, aye. Uh, Commissioner Evian, yes. Okay, Motion so unanimous. We have a unanimous approval of the minutes. Next item on the agenda is public expression, an opportunity for the public to address the commission on matters not listed in this agenda. Individuals wishing to address the commission under public expression are welcome to do so via email, Zoom, or voicemail message. Have we got any Zooms or anything in, in the wings there? Doesn't. Sound like it. Okay, number four is employee organizations. And I see Patrick's here. Did you want to speak now at all? Sure. Thank you, Terry. Just real briefly, um, if I'm not able to um, attend the whole meeting, um, I just wanted to say that we are in support of the district attorney's proposal and the proposed reclass for the two employees to legal administrative assistant. Well, thank you for the information. And next item is number five, which is we adjourn to close session at 9.05. So <coughs> change my agenda here. We'll see you there.
Turn from closed session and uh, reopen at 9.54 a.m. And in closed session, we voted to approve the extension of the probationary period of the uh, public defender employee, 5A, and for 5B, we upheld the denial of the employee appeal for the supervising code enforcement position. And they were both unanimous. So that allows us to move on to six, where we have, it looks like one classification study. Yes, that would be me. And it's actually two. I combined them because they're oh. basically the same. Oh, yeah, right. Um, but uh, so this is a classification study uh, requested by the district attorney for legal secretary two. There are uh, two incumbents. Um, and the recommended motion, well, let me start at the summary. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, the district attorney requested a classification study of two legal secretary, two incumbents who perform legal and administrative support tasks in direct support of the district attorney and of the assistant district attorney. The incumbents and their supervisors um, and their appointing authority completed the required position description questionnaire. HR staff has reviewed the PDQs in conjunction with the request and the classification specifications of legal secretary two, and is determined that the two incumbents do perform at a higher level of duties in support of the district attorney and the assistant district attorney than the duties of a legal secretary two. As the highest ranking attorneys in the district attorney's office handling the most complex cases and carrying the responsibility for the administration of the district attorney's office, the district attorney and the assistant district attorney must have directly assigned support staff that are able to handle the legal support and support them in the same way executive coordinators and administrative secretaries provide direct support to their department heads and elected officials. The support provided to the DA by Ms. Sutton and to the assistant DA by Ms. Nichols is more complex and responsible than the scope of work of legal secretary two. In addition to legal support work, they manage and maintain daily calendars, monitor criminal caseloads, assist with discovery, conduct research and gathering information and statistics, and relieve the DA and the assistant DA of various administrative duties. Both, both of them interact with a variety of high-level individuals in support of the DA and the assistant DA, and the classification of legal administrative assistant is distinguished from legal secretary by its responsibility to provide, provide complex administrative support to a division or department director. Historically, the county has only assigned legal administrative assistant to very small departments, such as the alternate defender's office in which there are no other legal clerical staff. On the other hand, other larger departments and offices have executive coordinators and administrative secretaries that provide direct support to the department head, elect official or other high ranking official. This is the level of support that Ms. Sutton and Ms. Nichols are, Ms. Nicholas, I'm sorry, I've been mispronouncing your name, um, provide. And uh, in addition to recommending that the commission approve their class spec, I did make a modification to the legal administrative assistant. It's been updated to reflect the role of providing direct support. You'll notice on the class spec, the area that's highlighted in yellow says that it's distinguished from legal secretary by the responsibility to provide complex administrative support to a division or director, but yet nowhere else in the class spec did it talk about that kind of support. So that's why um, I made those changes to that is to identify that it, it does provide that kind of support. Okay. And, um, I'm available if you have any questions and I believe the two incumbents are here and possibly the district attorney is here as well. Yes, I'm here, Ms. Kramer. I'm just, my uh, camera is uh, uh, facing Ms. Nicholas. There I am, see, hello. Okay. <laughs> all right, they're all crews here. So I, it's, I think it makes sense to me to first have a, a uh, 
motion to accept the proposed classification specification modifications and then have another motion to re assign thank you terry i thought that too i think okay. good good judgment so somebody want to make a motion i'll move to accept the classification um specification modifications as presented i'll second Okay, so it's been moved and second that we accept the proposed classification specification modifications of the legal administrative assistant. Roll call. Commissioner Beth Michelle? Aye. Commissioner Hardin? Yes. Chair Poplowski? Aye. Commissioner Ebium? Yes. Uh, the motion carries unanimously. Okay. So now we can uh, reclassify the two incumbents of the legal secretary two to legal administrative assistance. I'll so move. I'll second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded that we reclassify the uh, to legal secretary assistance in the DA's office. And uh, do we have any comments, questions? Doesn't sound like it. So uh, roll call. Chair Kowalski? Aye. Commissioner Evian? Aye. Commissioner Beth Michelle? Aye. Commissioner Harden? Aye. The motion carries unanimously. Okay, well, that was short and sweet. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes. Yeah. Can I say something? Certainly. Um, first of all, I want to uh, tell the commission, I think you already know this, that these PDQs are a, a form of slow torture. <laughs> so oh, I, really? I uh, commend uh, Miss Nicholas and uh, Miss Sutton uh, for getting done. Uh, it went through a, a many level review process in our office, and it was well done from the start. I also want to thank uh, Miss Kramer for uh, helping us through this and reviewing them. Um, it, it, as hard as it is to write it, I'm sure it's hard to also read it. And so I know the commission has looked at this also. So I, I thank you for your ongoing uh, hard work. I don't come to see you that often, but uh, thank you again. Well, you're welcome. Okay, so you ready to leave? Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So there's no other business, it looks like. Not today. Okay, so that brings us to the Human Resources Director Report. Okay, so um, I wanted to do our 2021 year and recap and review. So I just put it right there on the agenda. So I'll read it. And I don't think I'm going to have anything other than that. Uh, the District 1 Commissioner resignation, uh, the seat remains vacant since January of 2021. That's how we started our year. Uh, during the year, we conducted 10 meetings. Uh, their no November meeting had no quorum, so after public expression, the meeting was continued in December. Uh, in, those, in those meetings, you heard 24 classification studies, three application appeals, you approve, approve the performance evaluation format modifications, not only for the countywide eval, but then a couple months later for the sheriff's office mm -hmm. um, standard format. And um, during this time this year, the human resources conducted 461 recruitments and we received 4,048 applications for those. Wow. wow. That's mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Good. Wow. And then I did repost on the agenda the provisional appointment uh, for November for the account specialist that was appointed in May. And as of November 14th, 
it had gone through uh, regular recruitment and a regular employee had been appointed. And this was on the November um, uh, agenda, but yeah. since the meeting, we didn't really have the meeting other than public expression, I right. decided to repost it. Thank you. Johnny, can I ask you, uh, do you have any update on the director of HR position? Where the where we are with that? I don't. We are still recruiting. <clears throat> excuse me. We're still recruiting. We are still receiving applications, and they're being looked at as they come in. Um, I don't know what the the, the latest is uh, specifically on where we are with any specific applicants. Is there a deadline for applications? I think um, uh, Denise. Mm, if Denise could maybe tell us. But I think it might be open until filled at this point, um, or they'll have a, a closing date and then extend it or determine what their next uh, step is going to be. And, um, well, I don't see Denise popping on. I can try to look at, I can try to look at the, um, the recruitment folder uh, flyer if you'd like me to. Um, well, I'm just curious, because when you say open until filled at some point, I would think they would, go, you know, um, call the applications and grant interviews, you know, move to that next step. Well, as I said, they are looking at applicants as they come in. Yeah. So Okay. Um, okay. Just curious. And, and it, it, it is extended at this point. I yeah. have a oh. question of Johnny. Uh, yes. it's, I seem to remember back in the first years or so that I was on this commission, that the commission actually was part of the hiring, the evaluation or something. We were some way involved in it, if I remember correctly, or whether that was just an experiment or what. Um, I, I don't think it was an experiment, but I think you're right. But I think part of it depends upon um, if you have a robust applicant pool and you're having an assessment center, uh, and I think that I recall that commissions have been part of the assessment center panel, mm -hmm. but when you when you don't have a robust applicant pool, you don't generally conduct an assessment center, mm -hmm. and the um, the board of supervisors is um, you know sort of leading uh, uh, the pro the process. I don't know if they're leading it. But there, there's an ad hoc committee of some board members. So the board's involved. And I suppose the next the next steps would be what's our applicant pool look like and what kind of assessment do we want to do from here and who needs to be involved. Well, thanks for that info. Well, hopefully we'll see you for one more meeting. Yeah, Jenny. hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I know, but you know, I mean, if this is our last meeting, it'll just hinge on making sure that we have items and a quorum for February 16th. But uh, you know, it's it's been a I'll just say now it's been a great run. I don't want to cry, so I don't want to say too much, but <laughs> you know, I think I've learned a lot and I appreciate uh, you know, uh the commission's input and fostering of the whole civil service process and the whole uh, idea of having a civil service. I know that not, not everybody loves it and, and it has its pros and cons, mm -hmm. but I do think it's a good process and I appreciate all of your input throughout the years. Mm -hmm. Well, and Johnny, I just want to say, I will, I'm going to miss you. I've enjoyed getting to know you, but from a commission standpoint, I'm going to miss your historical knowledge, your depth of your depth of of experience, um, because there's many times where you've made comments like you did today, where you've been clear that you not intending to sway us, but that you wanted to provide some context. And that context came from your experience with the civil service process and what we what this commission has done or not done over the years. So that I think is a is a resource that that the commission is gonna 
where I personally will miss it. I, I'm sure all of us will miss it. So thank, thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank and you. if we, I'm going to miss your smiling face. Yes. Mm, yes. yes. Thank you. Um, remind me, Johnny, how many years were you with the county? Uh, 24. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Hey, you want to serve on the empty seat? Well, if it's still empty after I've been retired for a year, I guess I should consider that. Ah, you should. Yeah. You should. There All you right. go. There we go. You okay. never know what will happen in a year. Right. Well, I well, have I a have word. To, I have to say, as, an, as a still considering myself a new member, I am really appreciate the professionalism that you brought bring to us. Thank you. Your your preparation is so thorough and complete. And for me, I really value that in you. So thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I want to say you have performed admirably highly, which I have seen almost the whole 24 years. I came on in 99 oh on this commission. Wow. And uh, particularly when you took over and were the secretary, we had uh, HR directors who just didn't seem to want to come to our meetings or be involved. And so you really took over then. And uh, you, you will be missed, that's for sure. You will, absolutely. All right. Thank you. Okay. All righty. So we'll see you in February, Johnny. Yeah. Yes, we'll see you in February. <laughs> stand adjourn at 1010. Okay. Thank you, Terry. Bye, Thank guys. You, Have a good, good month. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.